To find this SH Figure Arts figure and even more, then check out BigBadToyStore.com. Click on the link below and head over there now to find yours today. Gather round the campfire, everyone, because it's time for another figure arts review. Toei's Super Sentai property has been going on for years before it ever landed in the U.S. as Power Rangers. And what I'll be taking a look at today is a member from one of those teams. In truth, it's the predecessor to the MMPR Jew Ranger team, Chojin Sentai Jetman, which is largely considered one of the all-time greatest Super Sentai series. And who better to represent them in figure form but the team's resident badass lady killer and quite possibly the most popular character in all of the genre, Yuki Guy, the Black Condor. The figure arrived at my doorstep in a cardboard mailer box within the initial box he was shipped in. Whenever I get a figure in a mailer box, it just adds to the excitement because it gives me the feeling that this toy was considered so great, he deserves the extra protection. Taking him out of that box reveals the standard figure arts packaging I'm accustomed to, with the window showcasing the figure and all he comes with. Jetman features a bird theme, and appropriately, Black Condor and Jetman is printed on the box in a fashion that evokes the feeling that these words are soaring across the window at breakneck speed! The image and text design on the back is more simplistic than others I've reviewed before, but I think it serves the figure well. And that figure arts jargon that's usually printed all over has been substituted with the condensed simple style and heroic action. The lack of excess pretension, even just a little, is appreciated. So let's pull them out. I present to you Black Condor in all of his glory. Comprised primarily of blacks and whites with yellow accents to break up the monotony of the two primary colors. Despite being named Condor, when looking at him, all I can think is how he looks like a penguin. There's nothing wrong with a penguin-themed costume, but if you told Guy that, he'd probably break your nose and run off with your girlfriend. His helmet and chest collar design is what really makes the Jetman costume, and has been faithfully represented in full. Without these, he'd just look like some schmo in a generic knockoff Sentai costume running around in black underwear. I didn't notice this when I first opened him, probably due to the excitement of getting a new figure. But upon inspection for this review, I found the paint isn't as crisp on the figure as some of the others. It's most notable on his abs and the yellow trim to his boots and gloves. If I don't pay attention to it, it's no big deal. But when I do, I can't help but constantly focus on it. Black Condor is a bit of a show off and he demanded I give him one of my extra figure stages so we could bask in his greatness when he wants to get flashy. All right, Yuki guy, you can have it, just don't hurt me! In terms of accessories, he's far from lacking. We get the typical four additional sets of hands on top of the closed fist pair he comes with attached to in the box. For weapons, included are his bringer sword, a collapsed bringer sword, bird blaster, a combined bird blaster and bringer sword, and wing gauntlet with swappable open and closed wing attachments, all featuring precise, beautiful paint apps. Also thrown in are the holsters for his blaster and collapsed sword. Connecting them to the figure is easy as plugging the tab on the holsters to the open holes on each side of his belt. In the series, since they follow a bird motif, it goes without saying their costumes enable them to fly with the use of wings they seemingly pull out of nowhere, which lie between their arms and side of their torso. It would be a crime if these weren't included, but thankfully they are, in the form of an alternate back accessory. To get them on the figure means we have to do a little surgery, which involves skinning his back, exposing his innards. <sighs> oh, that looks painful! and replacing it with the winged back. The wings themselves don't connect to the arms in any way. You have to line them up properly to give the illusion they are. This is where the open karate hands are best used, so let's put them on as well. 
with his arms splayed out and proper hands in place, he looks like he's really taken to the sky. Unfortunately, this pose is about the only one you can achieve without it looking off or downright bizarre. As far as articulation goes, nothing new here, so I'll save you the time and just throw up this diagram. No? Not good enough? Okay, here. After watching Jetman, Black Condor was a character I knew I'd immediately won in toy form, and for the most part did not disappoint. Few minor issues aside, he's a great addition to my collection, and when I get a display set up, he will be king of my Sentai figures. Purchasing him online will not be a problem if you wish to seek him out, as he is one of the easiest to acquire. Just don't tell him he's easy, or you'll likely find yourself on the receiving end of a punch to the face.